Today we're diving into an essential and sometimes challenging topic, dialysis complications, common issues and how to manage them. In this episode, we're going to explore the potential complication of dialysis and the ways to manage these issues and tips for maintaining the best possible quality of life during the dialysis treatment. Welcome back to the Kidney Zone, I'm Dr. Mo. Before we begin, please remember that this video is for informational purpose only. If you have any concerns or questions about your kidney or your health, it's important to consult with a healthcare professional. What is dialysis? Dialysis is the mechanical treatment that performs the function of the kidneys by removing waste, excess fluid, and toxins from the blood. It is a life-saving procedure for individuals with severe kidney failure or end-stage kidney disease. There are different types of dialysis. Hemodialysis, which uses a dialysis machine and a dialyzer, which is an artificial kidney, to filter the blood. There is also peritoneal dialysis, which uses the lining of the abdomen or the peritoneum to filter the blood inside the body. So what are the common complications of dialysis? Hypotension or low blood pressure. The causes of this is rapid removal of fluid during hemodialysis, which can cause a sudden drop in the blood pressure. So what are the symptoms for hypotension? The symptoms can include dizziness, nausea, fainting, and blurred vision. How is it usually managed? First off is prevention. Adjust the fluid removal rates to ensure proper fluid intake between sessions and monitor blood pressure regularly. During dialysis, it's important to lay flat, administer uh, normal saline or intravenous fluids, and reduce the rate of fluid removal. Another common complication is muscle cramps. Muscle cramps be happens because of the fluid shifts and changes in electrolyte levels during dialysis. The symptoms of this is very painful contractions, often in the legs or the feet. How do we manage this? To prevent it, we need to ensure proper hydration and balance electrolyte intake. If it happens during dialysis, we usually advise for stretching exercises massages, and adjusting the dialysis prescription to prevent it. Another very common complication is infection. Infections are usually caused by bacterial entry at the access site, which can be the fistula, graft, or the catheter. And the symptoms include redness, swelling, pain, fever, and chills. Infections are usually managed by First and foremost is prevention, strict hygiene practices, regular monitoring of the access sites, and using antibiotics as prescribed are very important. If infection happens, prompt medical attention and appropriate antibiotic therapy is recommended according to the bug causing the infection. Another common complication of dialysis is anemia. Anemia is, is caused by reduced red blood cell production due to kidney failure and blood loss during dialysis. The symptoms include fatigue, weakness, pale skin, and shortness of breath. Anemia is usually managed by preventing it through erythropoiesis stimulating agents or ESAs and iron supplement to increase the production of hemoglobin. The treatment is regular monitoring of hemoglobin levels and adjusting the medications as needed. There are also some access site complications that happen during dialysis. The causes are issues with the dialysis access sites such as the fistula, graft, or catheter. The symptoms can include swelling, pain, decreased blood flow, and clotting. Access site prevention is happening through proper care and monitoring of the access site, avoiding heavy lifting and using the arm carefully. If problem happen, usually surgical intervention, thrombolytic therapy, or catheter replacement are recommended according to the problem. So it's very important to consult with the healthcare provider. There are also some specific complications for peritoneal dialysis, which includes peritonitis, which is the infection of the peritoneal cavity due to contamination during exchange. The symptoms of peritonitis include abdominal pain, fever, cloudy dialysis fluid, and nausea. To prevent it, strict sterile techniques during exchange and proper hand hygiene are recommended. If infection of, or peritonitis happen, there is the immediate need for antibiotic therapy and possibly switching hemodialysis to hemodialysis temporarily until the infection clears. 
There are some catheter related issues which uh, happen through problems with the peritoneal dialysis catheter such as blockage or dislodgement. The symptoms include poor drainage, leakage, and pain at the catheter site. Prevention is very important through proper catheter care, avoiding physical activities and strain uh, of the catheter. If catheter problems happen, usually catheter repositioning, replacement, or surgical correction usually advised according to the cause of the problem. So what are general tips for managing dialysis complications? First and foremost is regular medical checkups. Stay in close contact with your nephrologist or your kidney doctor and dialysis care team. Regular checkups help detect and address complications early. Balanced diet is very important. Follow a kidney-friendly diet tailored to your specific needs and you can refer to our many episodes about diet during dialysis. Proper nutrition helps manage fluids balance and electrolytes and overall health. Medication adherence is very important. Take your medications as prescribed and as directed by uh, the management team to manage the complications such as anemia, blood pressure, and electrolyte imbalance. Hydration management is very important. Follow guidelines for fluid intake to prevent dehydration or fluid overload, both of which can be very, very bad. Physical activity is very important. Engage in light to moderate exercise as recommended by your healthcare provider. Physical activity helps improve cardiovascular health and overall well-being. It's also very important to stress on emotional support. Seek support from family, friends, or counseling services. And to manage dialysis emotionally can be very challenging. And support networks are very, very important to manage uh, that aspect of dialysis. In conclusion, while dialysis is a critical treatment for kidney failure, it can come with various complications. Understanding these common issues and how to manage them is very important for maintaining the quality of life during dialysis. With proper medical guidance, lifestyle adjustment, and proactive management, individuals on dialysis can lead fulfilling lives and happy life until hopefully get the kidney transplant. If you found this episode and discussion informative, please share it with others who might benefit. Stay informed, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and remember, with the right support, care, and managing dialysis complications is achievable. We'll see you in the next episode of The Kidney Zone.